You have to start pushing. It hurts! Well, maybe you'll remember that next time you want to be so wicked. What are you doing? Talk to me. Hey, look. You're only a young girl, 19 years old, unmarried. The baby has no father. Do you really think you could take care of it on your own? Yes. And the baby does have a father. He just isn't here yet. Yes, I see. Well, a baby needs a loving mother and father. Not some silly unmarried girl. It'll go to a family that can provide for it. I can provide for it. I want to take it home. Listen, the decision's been made. You signed the papers months ago. It's going to a loving family, and that's the end of it. I changed my mind. The papers are supposed to be destroyed. Please, where are you going? Please, don't do this. Please, don't take my baby away from me, please. Everything's looking good. You might feel a little discomfort, but we will monitor it over the next few days. Where's my baby? I don't know. I'll come back and check on you again soon. You're lying to me. When you took my baby, you couldn't look at me. You knew this was going to happen. How many women have you stolen babies from? I didn't steal anything from anyone. I'm not involved in the adoption process. But you know who is. Is my baby still in the hospital? It's gone. And that's all I can tell you. I'm sorry. I'd like to leave so I can find it. If you insist, I can't stop you from leaving the hospital. Can you help me get the adoption document? I said I can't help you. If you need any medical advice or experience any abnormal pains, then please speak to your doctor. Good luck, Mabel. I thought I told you never to come back here. They took the baby, Dad. You have brought shame upon this family. You are no daughter of mine. Please, listen to me. They took the baby. I don't even know where it is. I don't care. Who's at the door? Oh, Mabel, what happened? Nothing that concerns us, Mary. Back inside. You never had the adoption documents destroyed, did you, Mum? How could you do this to me? You told me I could stay in the house if I signed the document. But you just kicked me out and took the baby anyway. It's, it's for the best, love. Mary, I said Please. back inside. Who sorted the adoption? You've got to go. I'm sorry. Please don't go. Mum! 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 Please! <laughs> Hello? 
Have you been there all night? Are you the man who sought adoption? I am. Would, would you like to come inside? Well, yeah, I'm sorry you had to sleep outside. Um, what can I help you with? Um... Mabel. Mabel. My baby was taken at the hospital. I was told to come and find you as you deal with these matters. Well, I can't help you with that. Please. <laughs> My baby was taken from me. I just need to know if it's okay. What happened was in the interests of the child. Children need a home, and a mother and a father, and not a little girl out of wedlock and out of her depth. It's inhumane. You just can't just go around stealing people's babies. What is humane is to act in the interests of the child, who is born innocent into this world and does not deserve to be damned by the actions of its <laughs> sinful, reckless mother. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have questioned you. Please, would I be able to have a cup of tea and maybe some tissues? I should leave. Mabel, where have you been? I've been worried sick about you. They took the baby. Who? Hold on, you had the baby. They wouldn't let me call you. Mother never had the adoption documents destroyed. They took the baby even though I told them I didn't want to give it up. Well, they can't do that, can they? I don't know. No one's telling me anything. I didn't even get to hold it. Well, what can we do? I got these files from the town hall. It's a long story, but I'm hoping they'll point me in the right direction. Well, pass me some. And what is it we're looking for exactly? My signature, I guess. I don't know. I'll know when I see it. I think I found it. It's a girl. You have a girl. Does it tell you anything else? It tells me everything. Their address is in here. We know where she is. These poor women. I wonder how many more of these babies are just snatched from their mothers. You never signed the adoption certificate. You can take this to the adoptive parents, explain the situation. They might be sympathetic. I'll call the cafe now and tell them I can't come to work. We can go together. No, we need money for this place. And I can't wait until you finish. If I leave now, I can be there in an hour. Are you sure you want to do this by yourself? I'll be fine. Go to work. I don't want you to be late.
Did you find them? It doesn't matter. What happened? Nothing. That's the point. The baby is with a father and mother who love each other and who will love her. Did you speak to them? The father saw me looking through the window. He must have recognised me from this morning. He closed the shutters on me. They don't care what I have to say. But they know how she was taken from you. It's not right. I can't tear her away from them like she was from me. What do we do now? Look into getting a solicitor. See if we can get the word out about what's happening to young mothers. We do this the right way. See if we can get her back through the proper procedures. They won't give her back to me otherwise. Sorry, we're closed. Oh, hello. Hello. Sit down. I'll get you some tea. Thank you. It's beautiful. Oh, yes, it's been about four years now. Wow, that's great. Do you have any kids? Uh, yes, I've got a little girl. How is she? Uh, how old is she? Oh, uh, she turns three, actually, this year. Um, do you want to see a picture? What's her name? Alice. Um, could I order an, uh, an Encre sandwich, please? <gasps> yeah, sure. Your daughter is beautiful, by the way. Thank you. One Egg and Cress sandwich coming right up. Thank you. I was trying to move on, trying to forget. Forget what? What happened? But then she just walks into the cafe as I'm wiping down a table. I recognise her instantly. Like, how could I not? What? Who did? She looks so pretty. She was wearing one of those really expensive pearl necklaces. So I guess her husband had a well-paying job. A better job than me, anyway. Definitely earns more money. Mabel, what is it? What happened? My baby's adoptive mother came into the cafe. She showed me a picture. Iris, she's beautiful. Did she know who you were? No. I was too scared to say anything. But maybe she'll come in again. 
and I'll be able to explain. Maybe she'll let me see her. I do not think that's a good idea. What? Maybe I'm saying this for you. I'm saying this for your health. You've only just started getting better. It's just gonna upset you all over again. I don't care. Well, no, you don't care now. But when you go to see your own daughter and she's calling somebody else her mother, maybe well, she's not even going to recognize you. Mabel, I'm sorry. I know that I'm never going to understand how this feels for you. And I'm still going to help you. But you, you have to let go of this false hope that they're just going to magically give her back to you one day because we both know they're not going to. It's going to destroy you. I can handle it. I'm not some fragile little... Mabel? Mother? I've been trying to reach you. I know. What are you doing here? Not having you at home has been very hard on your father, Mabel. He's ill. We need you. He's willing to have you back in the house if we can forget everything that's happened. It's what's best for the family. We can say you were away visiting your aunt in Scotland and we can move forward together. Well, I don't think that's a very good idea. Yes, well, it's a family matter. This has been very hard on all of us. And all we want is our daughter back home again. It's what's best. What do you think, love? Now I'm standing in hell From a waste of maniacal weapon But they're under their lead of spell In the sun it be down on my face I ran far away from them And knocked on heaven's gate the music in dark, see ice through the dark Telling me things beyond reason Seventy-two, looking at you The fruits in the garden of Eden Do it for us, they told me Do it for him, they told me 